Hello everyone, Marty Seeks and Richard here, and today we have a Megalodon versus a Wolf Rival. Who wins? Well, let's find out. Now, I don't think I had to go into these two creatures that much because uh, Wooly Rhino, I assume most of you either know what the creature is about or have a good knowledge of it. And for the Megalodon, I don't think I need to even explain. And I also think the pictures I'm using should help you identify what creature they are and all that. <coughs> for Megalodon versus Wooly Rhino, who would win? Now this fight has to take place in like a like a wetlands, you know, or like a lake or something like that. Because I remember when I did my grey white shark versus African white rhino. If the fight was on land, all the rhino should easily win. However, if the fight was in the water, it's a little bit tougher. But if it's like in deeper water then shark should definitely have an advantage. But I said to do a more like neutral area where it's both land and water. And that's the same thing here. Now <clears throat> the Megalodon is larger and stronger than the Wooly Rhino. There, there's no arguing that just because Megalodon's teeth were or uh, were said to be really painful. Compare that to the Wooly Rhino's horn, it's not like it. Like, typically, it's actually a misconception about the Rhino horn. Um, you know, yet the Rhinos do use things to, um, to make it sharper, but, you know, it wasn't as deadly as some people make it out to, to, to be. Like, there are, like, um, if you watch some of those, like, Hippo versus Rhino videos, they're, the reason the hippo wins is because the bite force of the hippo is actually stronger than the horn of the rhino. And because of that, I'd say that same thing would have happened with the wooly rhino. I don't think that horn would um, be as in, in, uh, impactful as a, as a megalodon attack do. Now, I'm not saying horn is not an advantage. I'm just saying that it might not be as tough as some people make me get out to believe. <sighs> now, Wooly Rhino is faster though, because of the fact that um, the Megalodon seems to be larger. Like, I believe there's a documentary since that um, it's like nearly as big as like a bus. And because of that, the Wooly Rhino also dealt with people or with uh, creatures that are like faster than a bus. Like, in during the Ice Age, the, the Wooly Rhino had to deal with creatures like cheetahs, hyenas, creatures that are fast. Um, and because of that, um, I think the Wooly Rhino has a speed advantage. Durability is a bit of a tougher one because. Because the woolly fur on, uh, on the rhino and the mammoths were only used for the cold, but it's not like fur really gives you a huge advantage, whereas shark skin is also pretty easy to um, attack and hurt. So I'd say they're even in terms of durability as well, and I think the same with invulnerability. Now, the big question is. How would the rhino get its horn into the megalodon? Now here's the thing. <clears throat> Some people may, don't know, but megalodons used to actually do jump like normal sharks. They probably just didn't do it as often as say a great white shark. The reason why is because judging from their huge size, it didn't work to deduce a lot of that. Well, I mean, whales do it a lot, and so maybe I'm, so I'm pretty sure, I think whales do it a lot, just not as frequent, but they still do it, so I assume Megalodon would have been the same, because Megalodon is more for deeper water than shallow water, 
and so maybe every time it comes, it does it rarely, it's because um, it does. It, I think the reason it does it rarely is because because it's in deeper water, it's more used to that. However, the woolly rhino is more used to snow and warm weather, so I don't think, yeah. Now, granted, a male versus a woolly rhino fight is a lot tougher than, say, a great white shark versus a rhino fight because more likely the great white shark eventually would get to a point where it would land on the rhino's horn. Um, maybe not, like soon but at one point it will and that's going to cause a huge win for the rhino or in this one it, it seems a bit tougher for because you know it's not like the rhino just going to go underwater and just run because well rhinos do swim i don't think the woolly rhino was a creature like designed for that not saying it didn't swim i'm just saying it was more designed for like sword swimming, you know, like, you go swimming for a very short time, then do it again, then do it again for short times like that, yeah, it's like, that's what I'm talking about. I think the thing is, because, because of Megalodon's on the brain, um, I don't think it was that big, that was, that, like, intelligent because because of the size of Megalodon I think what would happen was that Megalodon probably must have just thought that this was a weird creature and possibly would have attacked it from the front not knowing that it actually has a deadly weapon um, and all that. Not to say Megalodon's dumb, they're smart, almost every animal is smart but you no, know, some animals are smarter than others and so and I think the woolly rhino would have been more intelligent than a megalodon because look at the look at their environments. Megalodon typically just swim around whales and fish. You and it was large and was and almost all creatures were scared of because of its giant size. I don't really think the megalodon really needed a tactical mind when it was constantly feared. The only creatures that would have Attacked that were whales, really. Whereas look at the woolly rhino, look at it, look at its environment. You know, it, the woolly rhino had to deal with people, had to deal with mammoths, smilodons, cave lions, American lions, hyenas, wolves, uh, bears. Like that's a lot more creatures and also people as well. Because of that, say the woolly the woolly rhino doing having with that type of environment would have probably also been a lot better of a fighter and also would have been a more tactical fighter. So who wins? It's a tough one because this is not like a great white shark versus an African white rhino fight. However, I'm placing my money on the woolly rhino. I say the woolly rhino would win this fight for one main reason. It's a better fighter. It has its horn, which Megalodon would actually uh, get impaled at at one point. Not saying it would happen right away. It will get impaled at some point in the battle. At some point in the battle between the Megalodon and woolly rhino, the rhino is going to impale the shark. And a shark would have started to is going to lose. Would Megalodon win? Yes, absolutely. Megalodon would win a few fights, but at the end of the day, I'd say the world run wins. But what do you all think? I'd love to hear your thoughts. So, leave a comment down below. And as always, I'll see you next time.